To book a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Thanks. Hi Aries, welcome to your September 2016 Taroscope and make sure to check for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Alright, and before I pulled your cards, I saw an image of a bouquet of flowers. With this, I'm feeling like somebody else is showing their appreciation towards you or, you know, you're showing your appreciation towards somebody else. Um, this could be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. This could just be like a friendship, you know, maybe you help somebody out. Um, and they're showing you their appreciation. Alright, I also saw an image of some people dancing, so I feel like some of you are, you know, you're in the mood to celebrate, you know, you're in the mood to, you know, get out and about and, you know, do some things that are fun. And I also feel like this is a sentimental, sentimental time for you as well. I just feel like some of you are... You know, you're looking back at some memories, and I feel like this is a sentimental time, and I also feel like it's an emotional time for you as well. I just feel like something is touching you on a heart level. You know, you're really feeling things this month. You know, you're really in tune with your your feelings. All right. And with this Nine of Pentacles, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody, oh, and I also, you got the Nine of Pentacles, and you also got this Risk card, and this card comes from the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle by PC Cass and Cool at Baron Reed. But anyways, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who does a good job, you know, they don't cut any corners. You know, they want to make something the best it can be. And I do feel like you guys are perfecting something. You know, you're perfecting a skill. Um, you know, maybe you're into art and you want to make your art work, you know, the best it can be. It just seems like you've got something down to an art. You know, maybe you cook very well, you know, really good. And you know how to make something perfectly. You know, you know, you know the right steps and how to exactly to make something to perfection, you know, it's just, I just feel like you have something down to an art, you know, you've perfected something, you're doing really good with something, um, and with this risk card, you know, I feel like you are taking, you know, some sort of risk, some sort of leap of faith, you know, you're really good at something, and now you're really wanting to, you know, just go for it, you know, you really want to follow your dreams, and, you know, you want to show everybody your talent. You know, you want to share your passions and your talents with the world. And, you know, and I think that's wonderful, Aries. You know, keep up the good work with that. And your chakra focus is the solar plexus chakra. So keep having confidence in you, you know. I just feel like you're right on target with something. You know, like I said, you've got something down to an art, whether that's cooking or art or, you know, some sort of skill. You know, you're very good at it, and, you know, it's your time to shine with that. All right. For the beginning of the month, you got the Four of Pentacles and this Chaos card. And with the Four of Pentacles, I'm feeling like you've been holding on to, like, something that you have been feeling. Um, and I feel like you're telling the truth now, um... This might be in a relationship, or a friendship, or with a family member, um, but I just feel like there's something that you've been wanting to get off your chest, um, you know, it's like something you, you, you want to share how you're truly feeling about something, um, And with this chaos card, yeah, it, you know, this beginning of the month can feel a little bit disorganized, um, it just seems like things are scattered, and you're trying to hold on to some sort of, you know, order. It's like, I feel like you're wanting to make a to-do list, you're wanting to get things organized, but it just seems like there's other things you got to deal with in the mix, you know? It's like having a curveball thrown at you. It's like, I just feel like some unexpected things, you know... 
all I'm trying to say is, you know, try to go with the flow <laughs> this beginning of the month. You know, you may have to, you know, get out of schedule, do things in a different order. You know, this is like baking a cake. You know, this is what I'm feeling like. Just as an example, this is like baking a cake. You know, you had, you thought you had all the ingredients. You know, you have all the steps down that you need to do. Um, but turns out, you know, you didn't expect, you thought the ingredient was there, but it wasn't. You didn't expect that. And so instead of s starting on the cake, you have to go back to the store and then start on it. And I just feel like steps are kind of out of order and maybe you're going to have to prepare, to do more steps to prepare for something before you can move forward. All right. And for the middle of the month, you've got the Hierophant and this Fulfillment card. And this card is all about guidance, you know, getting some good guidance, you know, organization, you know, doing something the traditional way. Um, but with this card, I am feeling like you are being, like, divinely guided. You're being divinely led. I feel like the right people are going to show up in your life and, you know, really help you, like, give you some really good guidance that's really going to help you, um, you know, and this is going to help you in, you know, fulf feeling fulfilled, um, you know, this is going to help you with your dream. So, yeah, I, I feel like spirit is putting the right people at the right time to help you with something, um, so, yeah, for others of you, you know, you may be giving some good advice to others, but I'm feeling like this is more like you being divinely guided. You know, I just feel like you're going to be guided to the right resources, right books, right people. I just feel like you're going to get the information and the knowledge that you need somehow. All right, with this fulfillment card, yeah, this guidance, this knowledge really brings you fulfillment. Um, yeah, I just feel like... You're really, you know, you're really going for things. You know, you're taking a risk. You're really following your dreams. And this is, like, giving you some, you know, some feelings of fulfillment. All right. And for the end of the month, you got this High Priestess card and the Six of Pentacles. And this card represents... It's like, a sense, there's a sense of cooperation. It's like helping other people out, and then they're, like, helping you out. I just feel like there's a sense of balance and cooperation this end of the month, feeling more supported and connected to other people. Because I feel like in the recent past or, you know, throughout this month, you know, I feel like you've been around some people that weren't very understanding. It just seems like... They were superficial. I'm just going to be honest. These people feel kind of superficial. You know, you didn't feel like you could be yourself around them. You know, you didn't feel good about yourself around these people. But I feel like you're just letting that go. You know, those feelings go. And I feel like you are, you know, you're feeling good about yourself. And, and you're also hanging around more supportive people and people that, you know, just love you for who you are. Um, and yeah, and I feel like, yeah, you, there's, I feel like there's more confidence headed your way, and, you know, you're just like, yeah, this is me, and, you know, and you're proud of it, um, and that's so wonderful, Aries, I am so happy for you about this, and, and yeah, it just seems like there's more supportive people around you as well, and with the High Priestess of Air, you know, I feel like communication is important as well as the end of the month. You know, get yourself out there. Um, you know, don't be afraid to ask somebody to hang out with you. Um, and don't be afraid to express yourself. You know, you're so wonderful. You know, you know what I love about Aries? You guys are always so funny. You guys have, you know, the greatest sense of humor. Every Aries I've met has had the best sense of humor, and I've always have had a lot of fun with them. And so, you know, you keep being you, Aries. And, and, yeah, I just feel like there is this, with the High Priestess of Air, you know, I do feel like there is this fun feeling and, like, yeah, communicating more, you know, networking yourself and, yeah, just really expressing yourself and having fun with it. All right, well, have a wonderful month, Aries.
Much love and many blessings to you all. And if you're interested in a private reading, email me at tarakide at hapmail.com. And if you want to know what my rates are, check the About page of this YouTube page. All right, well, have a wonderful month. Bye.